If y'all are under six foot five and y'all looking for some of the best jump shots to try out, well, look no further. Today, I'm going to be bringing y'all four of the best jump shots for under six foot five builds. So, you're going to want to stay tuned because these jump shots are absolutely crazy. YouTube, what is going with child? It is 2K made aqua hair. And I am back with another banger video, bro. Y'all already know by the title, by the thumbnail. I got you with the best jump shots for under six foot five builds. Okay, these are for all my small guards by play shot builds. Okay, I recently just started playing on my play shot build again, and this build is absolutely so crazy, so fun to play on. I forgot how fun it was to play on a small guard. Yes, I know I love playing on my tall guards, but this six foot four play shot build is absolutely crazy, bro. So today I'm gonna be showing y'all some of the best jump shots in the game. Okay, these are I'm gonna be showing y'all some for low three pointers, high three pointers, what gets you off the ground the most, and the hardest to test okay i'll be showing y'all four probably four or five jump shots in this okay so y'all are gonna want to stay tuned to this video bro i'll point out lots of all the secret jumpers but yeah before we get into this video shout out to this person right here for being part of the noti gang and also 86 percent of y'all are not subscribed to me so if y'all could double subscribe to me i would greatly appreciate it. i'm dropping banger videos all 2k24 but yeah let's get right into this i'm gonna show y'all the first jumper right now Okay, let's get right into this. As you see the first jump shot, we head over to the jump shot crater. The first jump shot that we're going to be trying out. This is the Stephen Curry base. Okay, Stephen Curry base is an OG base. It's been around for so long. I've been using Stephen Curry for three or four years now. Stephen Curry is obviously just one of the best bases in the game. Okay, I know a lot of people, they can't unlock Patty Mills. But I'm going to be showing you all later on in the video, Patty Mills base. Okay, but I'm going to just show you all, if you are not starter three yet, you cannot unlock Patty Mills base. That's probably one of the best glitchiest bases we've ever seen for a play shot. So Stephen Curry is probably the best base for if you're just starting out in the game. If you can, don't like don't have a lot of rep, okay? Stephen Curry, I still use that till this day, bro. I still use Stephen Curry to this day. I like it a little bit more than Patty Mills. So yeah, Stephen Curry, Oscar Robertson, and Ryan. 4-4 four four speed, 77-23 blending. This jump shot is so crazy. Once again, as you see, we're in the black top right now. Or, you know, I'm in the play now, just shooting around. And once again, these jump shots in the play now, when I go to them, they are not as fast as they are like when you're in the game okay so these are going to be looking a little bit slower than when i'm in the game because i'm just using them on normal timing i'm not using them on very quick but yeah also stay tuned to the end of the video i'm going to be showing y'all what shot timing is the best okay but you see i'm on my six foot four guard right here we're just getting some shots up getting practice this is how i practice mostly all my jump shots bro or i go to the art of shooting gym okay this is in play now once again you just make a custom team make a custom player you can just go in here it is very easy very simple very easy to practice you know practice dribbling practice shooting we see the Stephen Curry base is very good. It jumps off the ground high enough. So it is definitely a good base and is definitely very hard to contest. So that is why Stephen Curry is on this list. Okay, Stephen Curry, the OG base, the best sharpshooter in the world, the best sharpshooter in NBA history. Y'all know we had to go to his base. Second off, this man, Jonathan Stockton, bro. John Stockton, Oscar Robertson, Oscar Robertson. If y'all see a trend in my jump shot releases, yes, Oscar Robertson is really that man, bro. Oscar Robertson, once you equip these, I'm not gonna lie, it is G to the G's, okay? Oscar Robertson released one and two. I, I use that for mainly all my jump shots, okay? Oscar is just that man, okay? It makes your jump shots so much smoother, so much more consistent, bro. We are pulling up straight like we are a white boy who's never seen the sun. We're making every single three-pointer behind the 30-foot line, okay? I'm telling you, just like that, bro. We're not going 30 feet in, we're staying 30 feet out. We're not going under the basket. We're not driving at all. We are playing like a straight sharpshooter, Jonathan Stockton, who has never gone outside, okay? We're straight sitting camping behind the line because you know we're going to make it every time. Once we have this John Stockton base, it is really wraps. And look at this base right here, okay? I will show you all first shot. This jump shot jumps off the ground a little bit. It doesn't jump as high as Stephen Curry did, but this jump shot is still very chicken, bro. As you see, it has a little wider set point, like a wider base. So it is definitely very good. And once again, I've been using this for a while. If y'all stage guards know from last year, 2K23, John Stockton was the secret sauce, bro. John Stockton, I was wrecking havoc with John Stockton back in the day, bro. This jump shot used to be so crazy. But yeah, it's still mainly like this is just a copy and paste game for 2K23, I'll be honest. These jump shots are still the same, bro. All the good jump shots last year. The only jump shot I wouldn't recommend from last year is KPJ, Kevin Porter Jr. base. That jumper is straight trash now, bro. That jumper is horrible. Don't really equip that. That man went from being his wife, so they lowered his jump shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this John Stockton base. This is the truth, bro. I played probably 100, 200 games on this, and I've shot probably 60% from the field. This jump shot is so good, bro. Now on to our low three-pointer rating, okay? So this is for all my low three-point guards out here. I'm not really sure why you would make a guard build with a low three-pointer, okay? I'm going to be honest. I've been playing this game for a while. 
I don't think I've ever played against a guard with a low three-pointer rating. Maybe you're trying to make like a pure slasher build, trying to have fun. Maybe you're trying to make your IRL build have fun, but I'm not really sure why you would make a build with a low three-pointer that's under six foot four, because that is just I'm not gonna lie. You're at a disadvantage already, bro. Yeah, so now we on to the base. Markel Fultz base, Jerry West release one, and Ryan release two. As you see, release speed four to four. 39 jerry 61 percent ryan as you see release speed a plus this is definitely a very very fast jump shot the release height is not as good but once again you're not gonna have the high stats again because this is a low three-point rating all you need is an 83 three-pointer to equip this over an 83 mid-range okay so i have one of those and you could put this markel fultz base on the living legend that forgot how to play basketball bro if y'all know about marco fultz that man was looking to be the best player in nba history coming out of the draft and all of a sudden he forgot how to play basketball how does that happen bro how does that happen tell me but yeah this jump shot is very good once again as you see i'm just standing still shooting jump shots this jump shot is very good off the catch and shoot that's what i just realized okay the guy was passing me the ball i realized this jump shot is very good very efficient off the catch and shoot yes i said that right if you were going to be a small guard with a low three-point rating you were to be yeah you were to be catching shooting them balls okay because you were not going to be getting open shooting fadeaway threes like you can on a play shot build with an 83 three-pointer bro that is just a horrible build so i'm giving y'all a pro tip in here if you have a play shot build with an 83 three-pointer delete that build right now and make it the 94 three-pointer or 96 three-pointer okay because you were gonna have a hard life bro let me tell you right now you were gonna have a hard life okay and for the last jump shot on this i cannot get this jump shot because i am currently not starter three okay i don't play this game really anymore this game is straight dirt ronnie 2k mike whack now i'm just playing this game isn't bad but i'm you know i'm just getting a little bored of it okay 2k23 was really like really a step ahead of the 1v1 core current gen it was way better than this i'm not gonna lie so yeah i've just been getting a little bored lately so i've been taking my time back i haven't been grinding my rep but i'm gonna get back on my grind soon so yeah this base right here is patrick mills this is probably the best base on this list okay patrick mills is by far the most broken jump shot this is along with tracy mcgrady okay this is compared with tracy mcgrady for tall guards this is the tracy mcgrady for small guards this patrick mills base is so crazy bro once you equip this base you really do not lose as you see look at how high this base jumps off the ground when i shoot okay there's an excellent release point excellent set point excellent like release height everything about that bro so if you are starter three equip patrick mills oscar robertson release speed four to four and you will uh, literally become a god okay i've seen so many people on twitter so many people on tiktok say they've equipped this jump shot and they've turned into a straight debbie god bro so it must be the jump shot bro i must be something secret about this patrick mills base okay so once again patrick mills oscar oscar four to four speed okay and now on to shot timing visual cue all you have to do is go to your controller settings and you will see shot timing visual Q. and once again before we get into this turn off your jump shot meter bro it gives you a 20 percent boost why would you not do that but yeah so let me get right into this i'm gonna explain to y'all what these are okay so these are the shot timings from last year push late set point okay these are all like the same as last year these are very late very early late these are basically what that is it's just transformed into 2 k 24s version so we have jump set point push and release okay so jump jump is very early from last year jump is very early i know a lot of psychopaths who use jump i'm not gonna lie i don't know how y'all do it that jump shot is so fast that jump shot is literally i'm not even joking you cannot time this if it is on jump okay i would not recommend jump at all unless you were playing on like a really tall build like a center build okay jump is crazy bro if y'all are playing on that y'all are psychopaths set point number two okay set point is early from last year i know a lot of people rock with early from last year personally i rock with late from last year so i really don't use set point this year i use set point if the jump shot still feels slow after i've made it in the jump shot creator so if the jump shot still feels slow for you after you've like made it in the jump shot creator then you can use set point push is the best in the game bro i use push i've talked to a lot of people in the round the community a lot of comp guards that play pro and 5v5 league players they use push as well push is very good push is late from last year it releases when the ball is above your head that is when you release the ball it is an easy visual cue to release okay so i would definitely recommend push especially on my short guards i know the short guard jump shots are very fast so push is always when the ball is above your head release it and it will be green yeah that is all for me man it's been 2k made of aqua i am signing out once again if y'all are still watching this video make sure to go down below comment subscribe comment 2k made aqua let me know you've made it this far and you might win a lucky shout out in the next video bro so yeah that is all for me it has been 2k made aqua and i'm signing out peace with y'all boys